The one last thing I want to do on the site is link up this button on the drink entry. And this button allows us to link together a drink entry to a recipe. And we're going to do that using an entries field in craft. So if we go back to the control panel and we go to settings and then go to fields in our drinks, we're going to create a new field and this will be called drink recipe. And this is how we're going to link the two together. For the field type, we're going to choose entries. And this allows us to connect to entries. And we want to connect to recipes because we're going to assign this field to the drinks. We'll limit it to one. For the label, we'll say add a drink recipe. And then click save. Now we need to go into our entry type in our section. And this is for the drinks where we're going to be assigning the other entry. And it's going to be right here. Drink recipe and click save. So now if I go into the entry to the drink and iced Americano, I can now add a recipe, which of course I only have perfect espresso. Of course I can add another one dynamically here. So I can say iced Americano the style is ice drinks. Of course, I can add blocks here as well. We'll just add some copy, placeholder copy here, and click Save. And now I can select that one, and then Update. So I'm also going to, for Perfect Espresso, I'm going to choose the drink recipe as well, and save it. So now I've associated two entries together. I've associated a recipe entry to a drink entry via the drink entry form right here. So how do we get those to appear and link up together on the front end? Going back in our code, going to go to the drinks template group and the entry template. And all the way down at the bottom, we have this make at home button. So what I need to do is get the related entry and then populate its URL and then populate here the actual name of the entry we're looking at. So to do this, I'm going to set drink recipe equals entry dot, and what's the name of the field? Let me go back because I just forgot. Fields, drinks, drink recipe, drink recipe, and then we're gonna do dot one because entry fields, just like category fields, are a collection. So I need to specify just one. And then in here for the URL, I can specify drink recipe dot URL, referring to this, which we're fetching here. And I want to populate here the name of the entry we're viewing because that's what we're gonna make at home. And now I can go to the front end reload and make perfect espresso at home is going to link to the perfect espresso recipe. So I've now connected entries from two different sections and made it so we can link them together via this entries field. So now we have a nice listing of our drinks and our recipes and of course our news. And there's lots of finer enhancements you can do here. If you want to, we can implement this navigation up here, link up these buttons as well, pretty straightforward. And if you wanted to, you could even enhance this with some additional fields, however you want to do it. I want you to take what you've learned so far in this course and then apply it to enhancing the site.